Hey everyone, and welcome to the ninth episode in my tower defense game series. Today, I will be showing how to add level 3 and 4, so let's hop right into it. Also guys, on my scratch profile page, I actually shared a project with a bunch of my tower defense game assets in it, like the enemies and the towers, the map stuff, and the arrows, so if you want to check that out, I'll put a link to that in the description. Okay, so to get level 3 and 4 working, it's going to basically be the same process of what we did last episode, just slightly different stats and stuff for the different mobs. Of course, you're going to need a new enemy. So for level three, as you can see, I have created this ice golem and this one has a one, two, three, four frame walk cycle. Then for level four, the city of dunes, I just have a scorpion. So those are my enemies for level three and then four. Then of course, you're going to need to design a level. So for level three, as you can see, this is my level top. It is kind of just a icy place. And then for level four, it is just just the level top with like a broken down wall cacti and for path mid I also have level three and four it's just a path and it fits around the map and last but not least for level back I have just level three and then level four kind of just the same exact process that we've been doing all along just for two different levels now for the bigger one we have the story also so remember how we have a level one parallax one and then level two we did last time I also added level three and then level four so those are the story for level three and four. Then I also added the parallax two for level three and four. As you can see, this is like the sneak peek of what the level is going to look like. So those are the sprites you'll need to have. Okay, so I'm gonna head into the story and most of this is going to be duplicating. You're basically going to follow the same thing we did last episode, but I'll still show it. I'm just not going to go in as much of detail. So duplicate this one and do current level two and then put that in there. So if current level equals one, this is in the story sprite. And if current level equals two, then switch to level 2 parallax to else and then do another if else and do if level equals to 3 then we're going to switch costume to level 3 parallax 2 then else for now blank so there we go we have that set up you can go ahead and duplicate all of those if else is there now for this one with the parallax 1 I'm going to do level 1 parallax 1 level 2 parallax 1 and then level 3 parallax 1 so this is just getting the story stuff set up right so now as you can see if we go ahead and put this forever on the bottom of that and then put that back in there as you can see here we click on level one boom the story is normal we use our little cheat there remember last episode i think we did in there we go we can go to this and that works and now we need to program the cheat for going to frosted valley as well find the cheat in so i'm going to change this to one and then we're going to duplicate this and change it to two and do set current level to two so as you can see now if we press one on the map it's going to unlock level two but if we press two then it's going to unlock level three so now if we click on that, boom, it launches us into the right one. So this is the story. You can pause it if you want to read it. Now, if we click on it, as you can see, it actually is kind of working, not really. The reason it's popping up victory when we go to this level is we haven't set the total enemies to anything. So duplicate this script in the enemy sprite, and if do if level equals to three, then set total enemies for now, just to sure, 20 for now. So now if we go ahead and unlock this, as you can see, it's not gonna pop up the victory so soon. So I've done a few adjustments onto the level, and now, as you can see, it's all working properly. As you can see, this is going to the wrong spot. And if you remember last time, what we did is all we need to do is go into the wave sprite and duplicate this code right here and it's just current level equals to two and we're going to change it to three and we're going to find the x position for this i want my x for level three to be 192 and the y to actually be 113 like this so now if we go ahead and click on frosted valley and we do it as you can see boom that's just the x position for this to come here so i want the monsters to come out of that cave now if we click to start it as you can see we haven't really programmed the enemies yet and if you remember all we need to do is really duplicate a bunch of scripts okay so now i want to do as you can see in the enemies we have this whole wave script duplicate this if else and do if current levels equal to three boom this is where we're going to spawn the enemies for level three we're going to go ahead and set the total enemies on screen to five and then repeat five times for now just as a temporary thing and we're going to repeat five times create enemy ice golem so this is just basically the same thing we did last episode if you remember now that we have the ice golem go ahead and copy that way we can use that over and over but right here is the movement for the ice golem so i want to duplicate this and if do if enemy id is ice golem so this right here is all of the movement stuff 
off. So for the ice golem, I want it to move at a speed of 0.6. So that's all we need to do. Oops, not like that. We need to move it at 0.6 speed. For the costumes, to make it switch to the right costume, duplicate this one and do if enemy ID is equal to ice golem, put that in the else. Then we need to find the number that the ice golem is. So as you can see, this is 20, then 21, 22, 23, and 24. So we just need to do all of those numbers. So 20, 21, 22, 23, and then we have 24. Then the wait times are going to be 0 0.05, 0 0.05, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and then 0 0.5. So now, as you can see, if we go ahead and start the third level, because we did the programming, and once we start this wave, as you can see here, hopefully these guys are going to actually start spawning. Yeah, they are spawning up there, but they aren't quite in the right spot. As you can see, they're not really going in the right spot. So if you remember from last episode, we had to make it to where they'll spawn at a different spot in the level. So as you can see here, if current level is equal to 1, then we go to there. Otherwise, go to there. We want to change this to if current level equals to 2, and delete everything in there, and pull this one into there. So now we have a space for the next one. Then duplicate this and do if current level is equal to 3. And we need to find the spot where we want the enemies to spawn. I want them to spawn right here. In my case, the X is 192 and the Y is 103. Now it may be different for yours because you may have your spawning spot in a different place. So now as you can see, since we did that if else there and we put that, boom, they're actually spawning in the right spot. They are also animating and they already have health bars and everything. So now I want to st go ahead and start getting the wave system working for level three because right now they're kind of spawning on top of each other so for level three the total enemies is going to be 15 and for the wave one the there's going to be five enemies so we're going to create clone of ice golem and then wait five seconds duplicate all of this stuff and put it in there then i want to take all of that stuff out and do the if current wave is equal to one all that and delete everything in there then we're going to put that current wave in there we're going to put the what we programmed in the current wave is equal to one because this is just for wave one then in the else we're going to repeat 10 times create clone of ice golem and we click to start the wave they should be all spaced out and there should only be five ice golems that spawn there we go as you can see these ice golems are spawning in the right spot they're spaced apart good one more from here and we should be good hey okay, boom as you can see that is actually working but if we place down a tower as you can see they don't actually take damage this is our damaging script all we need to do to make a new enemy be damaged is duplicate that and do if enemy id is equal to ice golem then we can just do the damage to a very small number because I want these ice golems not to take as much damage. I want it to be negative 0.3 so they're super tough so now if we put that in there it's going to work but this health bar is not going to work anymore because you may be wondering why that is because as you can see we use equal sign here and it's all in whole numbers but if we take damage by a not a whole number like 0.3 that's not going to equal a whole number anymore, so this health bar is not even going to work. So we have to use the less than blocks on all of these, that way the health bar works. How you're going to want to do this is you're going to do an if here, or, and we're going to duplicate this down here, and we're going to do if item clone ID, all that stuff is less than 6. Then we're going to put this in a if statement like this. We're going to go ahead and take all of that out, and we're going to duplicate this and put this in like so and do if it's less than five then do four then do three then do two and then pull this one right here in and it's not actually going to be less than one because like i said it's not whole numbers anymore so we have to do less than 0.01 now we can do all that now we just want to pull in the switch costume to five four three two and one so all the old levels should be working exactly the same like level one say we should be able to still damage these slides lines as usual okay as you can see there they are actually just working normally so now as you can see when we start level three we don't actually have the right amount of money so let's go ahead and go into the money and duplicate this right here if current level equals to three set the money for to 400 for level three that way we can make two towers because the enemies are pretty hard there so now level three should pretty much be complete we have the story we place down the tower. We have enough money to place down two towers now. They are coming, and as you can see now, they actually take way more damage because we set the damage to a low number like 0 0.3.
a big thing we need to do is, as you can see here on this death script, enemy health less than one, we need to do 0 0.01 because like I said, it's not in whole numbers. And then the other thing is in when we die, we need to set the front enemy to zero. Then we need to also set the enemy health to zero. Now, the one thing you may notice is that this health bar is kind of on top of. Now, this is a very easy fix. Go to this spot right here. As you can see, it's replacing the item clone number of health bar Y with Y position. We just need to put that in an if else and then like that and go ahead and put the and go ahead and put this on the bottom and do like that. And now we want to do if enemy ID is equal to ice golem like so. And if it's equal to ice golem then we're going to replace all that stuff with Y position plus 20. That way it's above the head. No actually that seems pretty good. So now the health bar is actually above it and it's not like on top of it. So let's just do a quick playthrough of this. All right, so the first one is down, second one is down, third one's down, and we can finally upgrade my tower. So now this is when we start doing some serious damage. Oh yeah, look at this, we're gonna take them out. Boom, 50 and 100. So now as you can see, it automatically does wave complete, and we are ready to start the next wave. As you can see, does not work. Also guys, in the if enemy health is less than 0.01, that one, make sure to put the change total enemies on screen by negative one on the very front one. Okay guys, I am silly. So all you need to do is as you can see here, we have this broadcasting the wrong message. So all we need to do is as you can see, for the very first wave, we need to, at the end, broadcast next wave and then wave complete like this. Then for the second wave, we just need to do wave complete like that. So now this should be working. As you can see, if we let these ice golems spawn in, it says wave complete. And there we go. It says click to start the next wave. And then the next wave will actually spawn. Alrighty, so this is all working. It was just a little bit of a broadcasting message error. But there we go. Level 3 is done. So basically now, all you need to do is do that for level 4. Now I'm going to probably do a time lapse. That way this video doesn't get too long. But of course, once... I'm done with the time lapse I will show everything that I've done but really it's just kind of what we just did and just duplicating lots and lots of scripts I'm just gonna start also guys I'm working on the wave system currently as you can see this is level 3 what we just did make sure to set the total enemies on its screen for the second level to 10 because I forgot to do that as you can see in level 1 we set it to 3, then on for the second wave we set it to 7. We need to do that also for level 3 and 4. So as you can see, we have if current level equals to 4. If wave was 1, then set it to 4 and make 4 enemies. If a wave is 2, then we need to set total enemies on screen to 9 and then create 9. So that's just a little heads up there. Alrighty guys, so I just finished it up. So as you can see here, if we go ahead and use our little cheat to finish 1, 2, and 3, and then we go into level 4, boom, this is working. So we have the City of Dunes, you can read this, but then as you can see, it launches us into this level, then we can place down a tower, place down a tower, we start with 500 coins, then the, we click wave and coming, and there we go, boom, there are some cool scorpions coming in, and I think they look really, really awesome. And we can upgrade my tower like this, boom, come on, take them out, take them out, oh yes, uh, and oh no, I think they're gonna get us this time. Uh oh, okay, so there we go. As you can see there, we just got taken, we got two damage, so we cannot take any more damage this round. Hopefully, we can take these next wave out, like, pronto. The, there we go, we took out the first one already. As you can see, this upgraded tower is really helping us here. Let's go ahead and upgrade our second one. And then it says wave complete, so that is a little bug right there. Once again, I am a very silly person. As you can see here, on the second wave for level 3 and for level 4, we just have it repeating until it creates all of the enemies, and then it just broadcasts the wave is complete. So make sure that you do this right here instead. You do wait until enemies on screen is less than 1, then wait 1 second, then do wave complete. So, oops, we're going to go ahead and put that into level 3 and then for level 4. That is why it just randomly stopped. So, if we go ahead and put that in there underneath the level wave 2 of level 4, as you can see, if we go ahead and start this over, boom, take that one out, come on, take it out, take it out, take it out, take it out. 
Oh yes, we took it out. Okay, come on, come on, we can do it, we can do it. Yes, no, we still took one damage. So now if we go ahead and start the second wave, we should be all good and working. Boom. All of them should spawn and there should be no problems. Ooh, we can play make another towel the tower. There we go. Okay, we are starting to go through these scorpions. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Don't 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 okay. Good. Victory. As you can see, there we won, and all of this stuff works, and we should be sent back to the level. It unlocks level 5, which we haven't done anything yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and go over what I did. I did the same thing we did last episode for level 2, and then for what we did a minute ago for level 3. So basically, what I started with is I went to the story, and I, and I did the if the current level is equal to 4, then switch to the right costume. Same with this one. Money, I made it for level 4, I made it set the money to 500 and the wave sprite on level 4 I made it to go to a different X position so it fits on the path enemy sprite I went ahead and for level 4 I set the total enemies to 13 and in wave 1 I have 4 and in wave 2 I have 9 if current level is 4 then go to the right spot like there then of course I made this AI script so I did enemy ID scorpion then the speed is 1.5 and then of course I made the damage script which is negative 0.7 so it's kind of a really well-rounded enemy then let's see here what did i do after that oh yeah okay and then also i did the animation so right here is the enemy id is scorpion then it's 25 26 27 28 like that which is the corresponding number to the costume number and i think that is pretty much it okay so now i'm going to go ahead and just give a quick playthrough of the two levels we made today this is the story the black forest was a pretty comfortable temperature but feral hogs attacked by surprise constantly their speed so great even our best men had a hard time aiming at them as we move north everything gets colder i feel a constant icy wind coming from frosted valley we will pass through the valley hopefully not awaking the ancient ice golems so now we're just kind of taking out these guys slowly but surely also i hope you guys like the art that i've been doing for level three and four it took me a while but it was super satisfying to see it all come together especially when animating okay i need to focus here right, we need to take out this one guy and i need to upgrade this tower otherwise there's no way i'm going to finish this wave without them getting me so there we go we upgraded it now we should be able to do it and that's where the beauty of the scripts we did last time came in because now all we need to do is duplicate those couple scripts I showed you and of course design the levels and enemies and we'll have new enemies without really having to do any more damage script but come on just a couple more shots boom okay we can upgrade this second tower so now we're really gonna start getting powerful boom oh yeah boom 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 Okay, I'll probably have to fix that bug later because as you can see, it still thinks there's enemies coming, so it kind of just accumulate arrows and then they'll just blast them. So that's a little bit unfair, but don't worry, we'll go, we'll finish that up later. We might as well just go ahead and put down two more turrets. Okay, victory. That doesn't matter. We won anyway. Okay, so now as you can see here, victory, and we can go to level four. So this is the story. So it says it happened. We woke the ancient ice golem of Frosted Valley. So that's kind of like the story because they went through it and they made them mad because they were going through there. The air chilled as soon as the golems came close, freezing boiling soup within seconds. We are finally turning east from Frosted Valley. My men will soon warm up as we are going into the desert. I've been informed that the walls of dunes have fallen. Hopefully we can help fend off the desert scorpions. So basically, the dunes is the capital city and the all the monsters that's been attacking this world have broken down the wall, which is kind of what this is alluding to right here. So in this level, we need to help protect against scorpions. So there we go. We have two of our towers and these guys are tough. Oh my gosh. They just are kind of a well-rounded. The, the ice golems were super tough and slow. The pigs were fast and weak. These guys are just well-rounded. They're fast. They're pretty tough they are just a very well-rounded enemy i'm also really happy with how they turned out also i like the ice golems and the scorpions they're my favorite enemies so far i like the pigs though they're cute but here we go the second wave is upon us hopefully we can take these guys out because man they're spawning quickly look at all of them oh my gosh there's so many okay okay there's actually a lot we need to focus here i need to place down that turret okay we need some upgrading oh we got this oh yeah look at that victory so that is level four for 
for you. Now, because the enemies on level 3 are so slow, we're going to, on for wave 2, make it wait 3 seconds for spawning the ice golems. Hopefully, yeah, there we go. As you can see, they're spawning pretty close to each other. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I do hope you learned something or you enjoyed it. And if you did, then make sure to hit the like button and consider subscribing. Thank you all so much for 300 subscribers. I'm super excited about that. But anyways, this has been Owen, and I am out. Thank <music> you.